So here's the situation, you see. There is no, the, the, the whole idea of self-improvement is a, is a will-o'-the-wisp and a hoax. That's not what it's about. Let's begin where we are. What happens if you know, if you know beyond any shadow of doubt that there is nothing you can do to be better? Well, it's kind of a relief, isn't it? Now, you say, well, now what will I do? See, there's a little fidget that comes up. Because we're so used to um, <laughs> making things better, leave the world a better place than when you found it sort of thing. I want to be of service to other people and all these dreadfully hazy ideas. And uh, so we think, uh, there's that little itch still. But supposing instead of that, seeing that there isn't really anything we can do to improve ourselves or to improve the world, if we realize that that is so, it gives us a breather in the course of which we may simply watch what is going on, watch what happens. Nobody ever does this, you know. And therefore, it sounds terribly simple. It sounds so simple that it's almost, it looks as if it isn't worth doing. Have you ever just watched? Watch what's happening. And watch what you are doing by way of reaction to it. Just watch it happen. And don't be in a hurry to think you know what it is. In other words, people look at the, say, oh, that's the external world. How do you know? You think this is the material world? Well, that's somebody's philosophical idea. Or maybe you're, you think it's spiritual. That too is somebody's philosophical idea. This real world is not spiritual. It is not material. The real world is simply That was actually 400.